When in Manila. When in Manila? When in Manila. When in Manila. When in Manila. When in Manila, I will see you there. One. Hello. Oh, the oh, red one. There. Ah, oh, sorry, I've never pressed the red one before. <laughs> that, that's actually uh, that's actually a sample of how great I am at finding a girl's G spot. It takes that long, so just uh. Anyway, welcome to the <laughs> Wed in Manila dot com podcast. This is the the podcast to find out everything that's going on in and around Manila. We give you sort of a recap of everything people are talking about, things that went viral, and cool things you need to know about in Manila. Anyway. Uh, this week, very, Hello. very, oh, b sorry, by the <laughs> way, I, I'm Vince Galongo, follow me on Twitter, at Vince Galongo, and this beautiful thing right next to me. Hi, my name is Sky, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, it's Sky Cup Beans. Anyway, big things happening this week, this one, really big news, and lots of people reacting <gasps> to it, the Philippines donated one island to China, and for goodwill, so we now have 7,106 islands. islands. Uh, of course, the government official... Uh, saying that, you know, we have so many islands anyway, anyway what's one island? Uh, he would rather that, you know, we work on diplomacy and goodwill and all that. Thoughts on this, guy? I, I don't want to spoil anything. <laughs> of course, that was... Uh, 7107, no more, guys. It's 7 I know, some people were worried now. Like, what about the concert? What will they <laughs> call it? It's going to be 7106. That's, that's a legitimate concern for, you know... Political diplomacy, like what will happen to that concert named after the 7107 Islands? Very, very legit. But people were angry, man. People were cussing, screaming, calling our government idiots, calling our government cowards, calling. And these people mostly, d I, I assume, don't read a lot because at the end of that post, we greet everyone. Happy April Fool's Day. So happy April Fool's. That was one. We, we had a couple of April Fool's jokes on our site. You guys this, can check it out on WhenInManila.com. This was one. Uh, most people like the joke. There were a couple that, you know, of course, Filipinos oh, are more sensitive. There should be a joke because it's very gullible. Yung mga <laughs> I, no, even, they should start reading. In the joke, it even says the Chinese are going to name the island Gauli Baur. <laughs> Spelled some way like that. Uh, uh, and then I even said, uh, we even said, uh, which is which is Chinese for... Uh, the strength of one's mental state. It, it <laughs> translates to that. Okay. So anyway, I thought it was a fun joke and most people like it. Fools, guys. Happy April Fools. Don't read anything. Don't believe anything. You read online at all. Uh, our second joke was actually about um, Air Jordans because Filipinos love Air Jordans. Filipinos wear Jordans no matter what. I just had a friend who, wear, who wore Jordan 11. Which, one, which one's the one with the... Black stripe around Jordan the 11s, 11, right? Those are like the most popular ones, right? Yeah. Uh, he wore Jordan. He was wearing a white tux with white Jordan 11s to his wedding that I hosted. Okay. Now, of course, it's up to you how you feel about that one. But uh, congratulations to Kerwin, like by the way. I have two. Would you wear it to your wedding? No. <laughs> so anyway, to each their own. But P P Filipinos love Jordans. Yeah. Uh, my American friends joke that if you're Filipino, you are a nurse and you're you wear Jordans. Wow. Well, in in the states, and that's. Honestly, pretty accurate. That's cute. <laughs> Most Filipinos there are nurses who wear Jordans. So, fairly, fairly accurate. But anyway, so um, our, our joke was that they were halting production. Uh, we, we came out with these two jokes because we knew Filipinos would react. And, okay. and they did. So, we want to get it then. But we want to get it then. <laughs> but some were accusing us of like horrible... Um, uh, Horrible journalism and blah blah blah. I'm like, Excuse dude, did you even me. read the article? Excuse me, no feature come is among the news. So <laughs> we're, we're legit. We're legit, guys. But anyway, to real news. So, yes, Jordan 11s are not stopping. Why would they? I mean, Jor Jordans are not stopping. Why would they stop a billion dollar yeah. cash cow? And in any Jordans, diba? Yeah, they still keep what making do? it. it I make, don't know. It makes so much money. Like, why would you stop that? That is just idiotic to stop that. But anyway, and also, yes, we still have 7107 We so far. Yes. So the concert is safe. I know that's your main concern. And we're not giving up on that island that we're fighting We will not for. give up on we that island. Not. We will yeah, unless China makes a good offer. Call <laughs> me, by the way, China. I, I can sell. 612264. I think Sky owns one of the islands, right? So we can cut a good deal. 
Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, you're like Wolf of Wall Street, hanging out on yachts, owning islands. Over the weekend. Yeah, yeah. What did you do? What did you do, by the way? Before we get to the next t- story. I went to the cliff diving thingy that we'll talk about later. Oh, that's right. Okay, let's talk about that later. Uh, up next first is um, this one is serious news, so we're not joking. It might look like a joke because this guy's completely. I don't have the words for this guy. <laughs> I but, love this video. But the Mocha Girls, uh, in case you're not familiar, they're they're a girl group here, um, and they they're very sexy. They dance and sing a lot, and they're sexy. Um, they mentioned they're sexy. But anyway, so the Mocha Girls <laughs> apparently some of their dance members got hit by a drunk driver, and this is serious. We are not joking. Do not drink and drive. Very bad. But Go check on. out this video we're gonna play of the after Mocha Girls hitting. I mean, after the accident. Now the plate. Let's see that it's your goal. Volume. Tinamaan ko yung hindi ko alam. Yes, yun. Well, I'm sorry, pero yun talaga. De, hindi, hindi ako nagpapulusot. Well, I'm sorry dun sa mga napangga ko, pero kasalanan ko talaga. Saan po ba kayo galing? De, uh, galing kami yung years. Pero, I'm sorry, pero wala eh. Ganun talaga eh. I'm sorry, pero... Ilan po ba yung kasama niyo? Hindi, hindi. Huwag mo tanong niya gano'n. Sky, gano'n talaga. Sky. Eh, I'm sorry. Ne, ne, gano'n talaga. No, no, but <laughs> supposedly he just hit a security guard, a roving security guard, and he was fleeing the scene of the crime. Oh um, my gosh. I did not, I was not able to follow up with the security guard. Supposedly, everyone's okay naman, okay. and even the Mocha girls, no serious, serious injuries. But there could have been, seeing how inebriated he is. Oh, he's and it's, crazy. it's not even him. I, you know, we couldn't care less about the driver. It's the people that they could hit. Yeah. Really, don't drink and drive. Accidents, I, I feel, happen less in the Philippines because we drive slower because of traffic yeah. in Manila at least, as compared to the states, like accidents every other second. But still, if you're drinking and driving, and it's the middle of the night, there's no cars, you're going fast. He, so he hit a cop, tried to flee the scene, then hit a bus, I think. And oh the bus God. rammed into the Mocha girl's car. Something like that was from what I understood. Uh, but yeah, don't drink and drive. If, you, you know, if you're going to drink, drink in moderation. Driver. Get a designated driver. There are apps now, Uber, w- which will send a luxury car to pick you up. Um, grab yeah. taxi. There, there are apps you out there. You can leave your car in Green Hills and just see get the See driver, si Manong, si mom or dad, brother, sister. I'm sure someone will pick you up, buddy. Don't do that. Eh, ganun talaga eh. Ganun talaga eh. <laughs> So yeah, uh, I'm assuming that I'm hoping that the I'm hoping like they have better drug drunk driving uh, Law? laws here. I, I heard they're really really like he's gonna get like a slap on the hand. That's it. We'll see. Well, no, ah. you know, Anyway, one more. Oh, uh, speak of one more angry thing uh, that we are sort of angry about. It's um, this one is about being told to shut up. Apparently, a school teacher. Uh, went to the Bureau of Immigration. She and her husband tried to renew or get his passport or his papers worked out. And one, the guy they were speaking to was having a very bad day and he apparently told her, let me get the quote, um, uh, apparently she asked the same question or she, he felt like they were asking the same questions. So when they asked another question, he said, shut up. Kailangan pa ulit ulit ang tanong, di ba inexplain ko na? Why didn't you tell your husband? And of course, she got. <laughs> supposedly, he stood up and screamed this. Gusto ko yun hirapan ka magtagalog, Vince. Sorry, reading Tagalog is harder than speaking it as well. But so yeah, reading Tagalog is horrible for me. But anyway, so they, he he supposedly stood up, screamed at them to shut up. Uh, and when she sort of complained, like you know, uh, why are you telling us to shut up? Why are you screaming at us, making a scene? He apparently screamed again. Said, I can say shut up to anyone if I want to. They tried to file a complaint with the office, and apparently, it went back to him because he was the supervisor. What the So then, of course, they tried to file a complaint with a bigger uh, entity, and they said t- they got the runaround, took forever, so she just wrote about it online, and the power Yay! of the internet, it is now. Supposedly, last I heard, he, that the, the, the bigger heads are looking into this, and they're saying they will not tolerate this if it is true. Of course. If it's public office, you guys should learn how to talk to people especially if everyone's lining up pagod na sila at sisigawan mo pa sila diba they're supposed to be public servants but even yeah. if they're not even if they're not employees there and they're the client customer whatever you just don't talk to people like that and in you general, know right? what's more annoying is last week my office mate was 
complaining about these local government offices that pag sinagot ka na sa phone, sobrang bastos ka usap. Mm. Ab- so, bakit alam mo yan? Yung mga ganyan. <laughs> so, uh, annoying. I don't think they're trained very well with a PR, but... Well, yeah, yeah, so... You can go to me if you need training for PR. <laughs> or that. But thankfully for the internet, you know, hopefully, hopefully it balances things out a bit. It yeah, can be good or bad, but if you're bad, the internet will find you. But anyway, um, uh, so those are some of the things pe- ha- that have been trending and that people are talking about. Another big thing people are talking about is the Philippines set a world record. Yay! Is it, so is, is, is this legit? Yay! This is legit. Legit. Okay. So we were talking about this at the last week's podcast the yes. philippine basketball marathon. I, I don't know i didn't watch the podcast there eh. we talked uh, about you didn't watch. <laughs> hey, we have 700 views we do we did have who watches this views. what's wrong with you there, people um the philippine basketball marathon started last monday at 9 a.m and um ended saturday at 9 a.m started on monday ended on saturday yes. same game it's non-stop One game. basketball um, accumulating 33,515 points combined of the two teams. 33? P- there, that's a that's, star off. That's a good stat sheet. Because, you know, in a game, like, if I scored 20 points, I'm like, ah, what up, I'm man? Good. I scored 20. I'm good. But this was like, this scored- it was like I scored 3,421. <laughs> <laughs> you have bragging rights. Yeah, that was um, on Saturday. They, they also had the press con. Um... Guinness Director of Four Records Management, Turath Alsaraf, awarded the certificate to Access CEO Jack Ruby and the players. And everyone was crying when they were awarded the. I would be crying because that's such a big accomplishment. That's such a big. And you know what? What I forgot to mention is this is for a good cause. Ah. Because it's a fundraising event um, to raise money to build 22 homes in Tacloban. Ah, that's great. And, that's great. and the basketball court in Negros Occidental, which are, which are both devastated by the, by the typhoon Yolanda. Now, so here's from, just in case people missed the show last week, from what I understand, from Monday to Saturday, they were they not were, allowed to leave the gym. Yes, they are not allowed they to leave. They had sleeping bags there. Yes. There were 12 players, which is nor- a normal basketball team. 12 per team. 12 yeah. per team. And uh, they had their food there. They had sleeping bags. They could not leave the gym. Yes. But They're, with 12 they players. Stay there. F- in one team, 12 players, usually, f- uh, well, basketball rules, five players on the court at yes. a time. So that means seven players resting. But how? They're, when I play. They, they I, change players every two hours. So you get How to rest you get for two decent, hours. You can't get decent sleep from two, you know, two hours. Eh, kung sobrang pagod ka na, makakatulog ka noon. Power nap, yeah, two, two hours. But two, power nap for a week? <laughs> that, no, I'm just saying uh, how difficult that is. Yeah, that's why I was so proud of these players. Kasi grabe yung pinagdaanan nila for this. And I th- went on Monday. You did? The oh. first day. Okay. So they were very energetic. Energe- and, all that. <laughs> and then I went on Friday. They were so slow. And I was like, guys, let's do this. Conti na lang. Because uh, I'm, of course, not an example of, of athletic prowess. But, I mean, when I play 15 minutes of basketball or 30 minutes. You're already I'm like, tired. Like, Whoa, stop. Stop. <laughs> and actually, when fr- pagdating, na, pagdating ko ng Friday, there was a suero. Alam mo yon? What suero? The, what they put you here? I, 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 I swero? That's the Tagalog word for it? That's the Tagalog word. I've never heard swero. Okay? I've never heard that yon. word before. So, congrats guys. So proud of you. And wow. there's one female player. So no we're way. into women and empowerment. Do you, do you know what the final score was? Like, was it a big... They're both Philippine teams, right? They're just, yeah. They were just playing for charity. Uh, do you know the final score? Was there a... Uh, it's both more, more than 16,000 per team. Oh, so was it a close game? No, was it's not. It's not, <laughs> <laughs> it's not a close game. A few thousand. Actually, it yeah. doesn't matter what yeah, team Yeah, it doesn't won. really matter. It doesn't matter. I, I mean, just being on there, even though you, yeah, just being on there Crazy, for a yay, week, congrats. that's an accomplishment. Congratulations again. Um, uh, I said to you, right? We should get this one because we are a very basketball, basketball crazy we are, country. We are. So. Which I don't understand. Yay. We're so short. But but you should write it. Anyway, article be out. Sky's first article on When in Manila. She's writing about this. <laughs> So anyway, other than that, what else is happening? Um, big oh, news this week. So, nanod ka ba ng binibining Pilipinas? Binibining Pilipinas. I, no, I'm not a, I'm not a pageant oh, freak. I support them. Uh, actually, hindi rin ako fan masada ng binibining Pilipinas. Mm-hmm. I just waited for the long gun competition and the question and answer portion. Well, men usually wait for other portions. But anyway. Oh um, yeah, there was like a wardrobe 
Malfunction? Malfunction! Ah, I missed the, it! The very first Damn one it. who came out in her swimsuit. Nip slip? No! Because there's a lot of hair in the bikini. Flower diba? power? So, she got the, what do you call that? Parang saro. So, when she pulled it, na she pulled the pull tie uh, in the bikini. But she niya. was able to catch it. Ah, yeah, she was able to catch uh, okay. it. But it's like she's crying when she was walking. <laughs> Crazy. You can tell us, Ate. Or everyone will make you the winner. <laughs> Congratulations to that. But so so what happened? What's um uh I don't know any of the Contestants. names. Uh, like are there big names to look out for this year? Are uh, are there any controversies already? Are there any what what happened? What what went viral from the um, pageant? Actually MJ um I think the one who won the title um joined Binibini Pilipinas quite a few times already. So okay. There. Um that's uh, Miss Universe Philippines 2014 is MJ Lastimos. And how many times have you joined already, Sky? I am short, ako, hindi ako pede. Five, six ang minimum height. Five flat lang ako. <laughs> I think there are six inch heels out there. There, I have six inch heels. <laughs> there you, you have to be barefoot, yata. Okay. And, I will try that, though. <laughs> it's like racism, but for short people. What's it's so like shortism. <laughs> What's so funny What's about this? What's wrong with you? It's the question and answer. Portion. What may, happened? My question: uh, What would you give up? What What would you give up for your crown? Oh, that's a, that's a, okay, okay. And and what? Uh, she answered. <laughs> Hi, <Technically. laughs> down here to Miss Philippines, girl, man. <laughs> I wish they could see that on the when we record oh, it. Yeah, we, we should. You should show that. Yeah, yeah. they're calling Sky Little Miss Philippines. Thank you. Do they still have that Little Miss Philippines? Yeah, they do. They do. Is that is that it, Bulaga? Yeah, it Bulaga. <laughs> <laughs> so what? There you're overage. Here you're too short. You need to fight this. You need to stand up for your rights, guy. <laughs> but anyway, so um, the question of uh, what would you give up and how did, uh, did she answered very confidently? Wave Muna, wave Muna before you answer. Okay. She right. said, um, "My shoes." Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I was laughing. Oh man! And she was like, "Cause I have really big shoe size, so I would give up my shoes." Oh for dear! You know what they say about big shoe size? <laughs> Thank <Fart>. you. <laughs> <Fart>. <laughs> <laughs> what now? What did did she place? Was she last place? I don't know oh. if she plays. The only one I know is the one who won the title. So. Okay. Oh, well, maybe. hopefully. You can trade in your shoes for a crown somewhere else, but yeah, good stuff. But yeah, anyway, um, uh, other than being Filipina, speaking of competitions in the Philippines, yes. this one I think is new. I haven't heard of this in the Philippines. Okay. Um, this is actually the third year for the Philippine diving team to have the cliff diving competition in Punta Fuego. Punta so, Fuego, where's yeah, Punta so Fuego? Yeah, so I went there in Batangas. Okay. So I went there to watch the Philippine diving team, and there's an open division where there are two international, um. Contestant. So, um, the height of the first one is eight meters, and the other one is sixteen meters. Eight. Um. So, you know how many feet that is? No, I don't know. Eight meters. Eight meters. <laughs> Google. Can, can eight someone meters. do the math for us? Because they told me it's sixteen meters and eight meters. Sixteen and eight, please. Guess the feet. No, there. But it looks pretty damn high. Yes. And um. Cliff diving, so we were on our boats and yachts. Mm -hmm. Have you tried That's cliff diving? That's why I'm so red. Have you tried cliff diving? Yeah, but, but not it, here. They, yeah. they won't allow me to do it here. Because <laughs> it's, so, it's so high and only the professional ones get to, gets to do it. So. Yeah, where did you try it? Boracay at Ariel's Point? No, and also in Batangas, Tali, Tali Beach. Oh, really? How high yeah. was that? I don't know. Um, but there were waves, though. And that's, that was the hard part. When oh, I did there shouldn't be diving. waves. That, that's... That's uh -oh. difficult. But um, I tried it. If you guys ever go to Boracay, it's the, my number one recommendation when you go there. Um, you take a boat out to Ariel's Point and you oh, jump yeah. over there. Ariel's um, Point. Uh, I think I, the highest I jumped was 40 feet. That was... Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I don't ever want to do it again. It was one of those one, one-time things. And I kept trying to jump. I jumped the 40 foot once. I think they have a higher one now. Because there were guys that were jumping all over the, well, the locals that, that worked there. They would go on the Ariel's Point sign. There was like a billboard. They would go on top of that and jump over. I think that was, oh, they said 60. Shit. Crazy. But now they have a plank uh, board there now. Okay. But I jumped over the 40. That was crazy. 
it was still really high. So I tried, I think, the 25 or 30. And I kept jumping over the 25 and 30. I did like three, four times in a row because I was saying, you know what? I want to get over this fear of heights. That way, you know, if I keep doing it, nah, every time you get on there, you're like, oh my God, I'm going to die. I actually interviewed one of the divers and uh-huh. he says it requires a bit of fear to do it. So yeah. I think you're in the right track. So um, the winner for the open division um, is actually Brazilian national. The score was so Is this new? Far. Yeah. Is this a new thing? Yeah. In the Philippines? So th- was yeah. this the first one? It's actually the diving? third time, but um, I think this year, the cliff diving community is getting bigger. It's getting bigger. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I think with all the islands and, and all the... And the Filipino um, won third place, si Ryan Fabrega, who's also the um, trainer for the Philippine diving team. Okay. If okay. you guys want to try it, you can go to Rizal Memorial and look for the Philippine diving team. They can teach you how to cliff dive or swim because you have to know how to swim. <laughs> and what's funny is there are kids on the cliff diving event. They're like five or six years old kids jumping. Jump that high? Yeah. No way. And parang ako, ako hindi ko kaya. Yung mga bata kaya nilang lumipad. Ayan, kinakompute. I'm computing. 16 meters is 52.4934 feet. Okay. So 50 feet. feet. Wow, and 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 they're there judged tricks. based. They they do the spins based on the and tricks all that. And tri- based on how they land on water. Mm-hmm. The, any accidents? No, no man. No, wala That's naman. good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, yeah. well, congratulations to the winners, and uh, next year Sky will be there. Yeah, I'll try to be there. And she will be in it, right? Yes. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. You want to, you want to join? Yeah. You can dive. Th- you can do all that diving, spinning. Yeah, I can train to do that, but I want to try it. Yeah, there you go. A finally, a sport where short people are, <laughs> it, where it, it's an advantage. There's less like less body to swing around, right? Yeah. There you go. Kaya okay. <laughs> Cliff diving. Anyway, other than that, this one, this one, a very, very important topic that we want to talk about. This happened here in the Philippines. Yes. So I guess here in Manila. So I guess we're ready yes. for this. Yes. Okay. So and I there's a lot of men out there. I think I think one of our I think our studio <laughs> manager might want to pay attention to this. Uh, Migs with a Z. <laughs> he might want to attend this class from what I hear. But. Okay, so I went to this event. Okay. It's called um, con- Commit to Control PE. So, Vince, what do you think PE means? Physical education. No, actually, PE means premature ejaculation. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, I went to this event last week at Makati Shang. They Wait, they, in the, the Philippines is ready for this. We're not I that conservative so. anymore. I think so. So, and there's an actual, what is this, a class? Uh, uh, this, this was actually the, a launch for um, like a food supplement or a drug to help you not have premature ejaculation. <laughs> So it, it's not just it's not just you get too excited and it happens. It's being treated like like a sickness or yeah. A it's actually um, it's a disease. A disease. a disease is that it's, what they said? It's is an it, issue. It's an issue. Yeah. And is this for guys who? I mean, <laughs> is this for guys? Because every time <laughs> they <laughs> pee, <laughs> every time it happens, or is it? I mean, does it happen? Uh, yeah, you know, you know, every time it happens. So there are guys out there it happens every time. It's not just like that one time that they got uh, too excited. So I, I was in a it's table like, full of guys, diba? Sabi niya, eh, paano kung si Megan Fox yung kasama namin? Oh, yeah. Is that, it considered that's autom- me? That's, and that's what I mean. You got too excited that one time. That's automatic. Mm, that's ayan. automatic. If you see Megan Fox in front of you in a bikini or undressing, it's like, it's done. It's like, thank you, Megan. I'm done. You can... <laughs> Josie Munaro, you can just wait there. <laughs> Let me regroup. <laughs> okay, so again, um, the, actually, the meaning of premature ejaculation is um, characterized by short ejaculatory latency, inabil- inability to control ejaculation, and resultant overall decreased sexual s- satisfaction to the man and We his know what PE is. Everyone, I mean, well, most people above the age of 18 and sexually active would know this. Uh, now, what, <laughs> now, what did you learn from this class you attended? It's actually an interactive event. And so were you there because you need help? Someone you know needs help? No, or you were, they, you're they just they invited covering? me for an event and there was nothing on the invitation. It just says, commit to, uh, commit to control PE. That's the date and the time and where it's going to happen. So I went there and I'm like, hmm, there's a bed on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> so dear Sky, since you're... 
gonna be joining Bilibining Pilipinas soon when you grow a little bit taller. Um, what did you learn from this experience? Uh, it can be cured. It yes. can. Tips. Tips to our readers. I'm well, sure. Uh, if you don't <laughs> know if you have some PE problems, you can actually take a test on controlpe.pa. They will flash pictures yeah. of Megan Fox in front of you <laughs> naked if you no, don't there, there's ejaculate. Like, there's like an exam that you will take, so yun. Because they have um, actually numbers on how many percent of men has this problem. So, um, do, do you have the do you have the percentage? Ah, uh, yung right, yung infographic nga. <laughs> There Maybe we can is. blow up the infographic real quick. Can we put it on the full screen, Kung Kaya? Let's see if we can get that. But so, okay. So, do you have? Do you remember one tip that they had for for men or for people? You have people? to talk to their doctor. You can talk to them online. Mm -hmm. So, the the tip that you know, oh that my God, someone's calling. I don't even have a. No, no, that's, is that us? Is that us? Is that oh. us? <gasps> no way. Oh I no! I don't even know how to set this up, man. I didn't set it up. <laughs> So we're, right when we were talking oh, okay, about okay. premature ejaculation, someone calls us. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe it was uh, someone from there. And someone from the hello? event. Hello. 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 Hi, who is this? Yes. Hi, this is Nico. Nico, what up, dude? Were you there too? Mm, huh? <laughs> Sorry, we're talking about something else. <laughs> Nico, what's up? You're ganda on there. Na, ganda ng Hi, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Do you know what? What are you guys talking about? We're talking about PE, Nico. The, 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 I know you've been having this problem for a while. <laughs> I think someone hey, had Nico. Call. I'm sorry, I'm just hearing my. Wait, I'll, I'll just ask them to <laughs> lower the volume. Nico, we're talking about a premature ejaculation. Oh my God, no! I don't, I don't have that. Um, I don't have that problem. Because apparently, one out of three Filipinos have. PE problem. So, in this really? room, oh my God, me, so Martin, and Migs with a Z are here. Obviously, me. Hi, guys. <laughs> out of three, we just have to choose which one has PE issues. So, Nico. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Among your friends, Nico, find out who has PE, okay? Yes. <laughs> I saw the tweet. I saw that you're going to talk about Ann Curtis. That's why I called. <laughs> We'll, talk about that in the we'll get there. I thought you were talking about Ann Curtis now, so I, I called you guys. I, so we're talking about Nick, premature ejaculation and Ann Curtis. Nico, can you call back in like 10 minutes? I think we'll get to Ann Curtis in a bit. Okay, sure. I'll call you back. Okay, uh, bye, Nico. Okay, because I have insider scoop about oh. that. Oh, oh wait. Yeah. Can we let, you know what? I, I, let's get to Ann, Ann Curtis real quick. Nico, are you there? Okay, yeah. Let's I'm get here. let's get to Ann Curtis real quick. Um. We'll go back to PE. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, Sky, what happened to Ann Curry's? And, and Apparently, we'll what? Another Does that call? happen? I, I was there at Binibining Pilipinas. I was watching it live. Okay. And okay. apparently, Vice Ganda was having a party at Gamer C. Okay. okay. And after Binibining Pilipinas, she went there right after. So, and then yesterday, pep.ph released an article about and pretty saying to some conception that you don't, you're not even classy to be here. Yes, that, that's the news Ooh. articles, what it yes. supposedly says. Yes, and some says it's, a, it's an April Fool's article of that, but I think it's not really, because uh, I, have, I have someone telling me that Anne doesn't really like Sam at all for, 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 dating, for dating, dating her Jasmine. sister. Yes. And and is it true that she was saying but Molinoko kapatid ko something like that? Yeah. Was there something that happened between Sam and I mean did he break it off with her? Is he cheating on her? Do you know any oh. info from there? No, but well, well my my sources told me that Anne doesn't really like Sam at all. Ah. That's so the, that's so your what sources my sources tell me. And your sources say that this was true. This really happened because Anne is I think denying uh, this. No, now? my source is not at the party, but but if it's an April Fool's, then I don't think Pep would just release something about that and would name Anne for an April Fool article. True, true. Okay. They're, they're, they're a news organization if they want to call themselves that. But I don't think they will be releasing something to that extent, right? Okay. They, well, there you go. Insider scoop from Nico right there. Check out his articles. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for that, Nico. Yeah. you have anything else to add? Nothing really. Uh, Can I say hi to people? Uh, yeah. 
We're say, I'm, hi, at, hi I'm at Madhouse Studio. We're watching. We're watching it live. Ah, oh, thanks, guys. Oh, <laughs> Appreciate that from Madhouse. Oh. Say hi to your friends, Nico, and invite them to check out your show. Yeah, yeah sure. Um, we'll have a show later after after Wim's podcast. It's at 9 p.m. It's live at madtv.ph. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks so, thanks so thanks much, guys. Oh, and yeah. good, good luck with the PE, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I don't have that problem. I wish I had, but <laughs> I don't have that problem. Thanks, Nico. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. -bye. There you go. And, and wait, uh, by the way, Mar we'll bring Martin in now because he had an insider scoop. Uh, he had a little info on that Ann Ooh. Curtis thing. Yeah, but wow, Nico's more wait. in depth about this. Okay. Like, yeah, there's the angle about the uh, April Fool's joke. But what I read online as well as on the papers is like, yeah, she, Ann Curtis actually blasted verbally Sam Concepcion that he does not have enough class. To be at their party, things like that. Yeah, so pretty much she, she, made, she said bad things yeah. to the kid. Oh, poor, the poor guy. Sad. And, and the rumor also has it like she went out and bashed his car <laughs> at the same time. Yeah, yeah, I, that's what I saw in the news yeah, earlier. It escalated that big that the birthday celebrant himself, Vice Ganda, had to tell everyone in the party, mm -hmm. guys, Wow, with that voice like too. That. <laughs> if you know, sounds Vice like is, you were there. If you know Vice is being serious like that, you know it's <laughs> okay. you know something big is going down. But oh anyway, none of us were there. Just yeah, a no, disclaimer: were we're, there, we're just from so what we hear yeah. from our insider from sources, our, like from Nico. Our insider sources. Damn, yeah, insider sources. Yeah. But anyway, anyway, uh, thank you so much, to Nico, for calling. Anyway, we'll bring Martin in in a bit. But uh, back to PE. What did you learn, Sky? <laughs> Okay, wait. Yung mga stats. Look, no, I just got text from ano uh, from our technician si Ryan. Eh. He needs an. Uh, he need mo, help for. Mo sabihin, oh my God! You have PE. Wag mo sabihin oh name God. Ryan, Oh sorry, sorry, Ryan, sorry. Don't, don't, don't. So, don't you should text that in the beginning. You wag mo sabihin name ko. Ayan, we have uh, we actually have an infographic so, about this. So what? Uh, okay. There. Okay. Um, I can't read. I can't read it. I have here. Um. Sexual initiation. This is the first one there. Okay. Three in five men and women agree that they initiate sex, and one in three agree that it's men who initiate sex. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Then that's, that's, um, that's, that's, in the Philippines, let's get to the good part. In the Philippines, <laughs> men and women report having s sex nine point four times <laughs> per month. Nine point four times. They have not met my. F anyway, go ahead. Sorry. Eighty percent and eighty percent say they want to increase. This frequency even more, more so by the men than the women. Okay. And at all events. Yeah, 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 just just find the pre the PE part. Duration time to ejaculation is between six to fifteen minutes. Anything before that is PE. Yeah, I think so. What? Ayun muna. Ayun na lang muna. From what I understood, anything over a minute is good, right? I know race. Paunahan. <laughs> Right, isn't it? Minute to win it. Min yeah, that's how it goes, right? <laughs> okay. I've been doing it wrong this whole time. I need to attend that class. But anyway, there you go. I guess Sky will also be writing about that. <laughs> 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 no. We'll release that infographic. And, and, and I actually saw the um, trailer for Cameron Diaz's movie, Sex Tape. Oh, so yeah. So they had sex the for three hours. <laughs> For three yeah. hours. Yeah, so I know. And so 16 that's, to 15 minutes, it's walang wala pala yan. Okay, well, I'm glad you, I'm glad you went, Scott. Oh, but, but, the you know the advice that <laughs> men joke around about how not to, you know, okay. prematurely. You, you think you of think baseball <laughs> <laughs> or basketball when you're in the Philippines. Okay. Bola. <laughs> no, not that, that kind of ball. But you think of something else. You, so you're supposed to think of non-sexual things. Okay, so, I guess. Yeah. It, yeah. Sort of. I was gonna what, ask what, something, but I don't want to. Go no. What do you remember? Any advice they ha they had? Did, did did they give advice? Not really. No, not really. Oh, so it's really the the supplement they have. So it's not yeah. like uh, okay. Well, that's it. okay. Right. Anyway, I'm I'm proud that you so attended. So yeah, if you guys are um curious about it, you can um take the test <laughs> or um read the symptoms on controlpe.ph. Okay. Anyway, on to more uh, Manila things. If you guys are looking to try new things in Manila, here's one thing we recommend. Have you ever tried archery? No. I, it sounds so cool. It does. Uh, one of our writers, Christine, uh, Christine uh, Miliant, Miltante, 
uh, wrote about the Archery Academy, in case you want to be Katniss. Um, uh, I, I, there's quite a few archery s ranges here now in the Philippines, in Manila. Uh, I haven't tried it out yet, but I've been wanting to. I've never fired an arrow like that, like, you know, Hunger Games style or Hawkeye or Green Arrow, whoever you want to, you know, look up to. But yeah, I think there's something cool you want to try out. So uh, one of our writers wrote about, again, the Archery Academy. And this one, I believe, is in Annapolis Street. So it's near Green Hills. Yes, it's by uh, CrossFit Green Hills. So uh, check out the article on WendyManila.com if you want to try that as well. But yeah. Martin, have you tried archery? No. No. Okay. 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 Sorry. Anyway, but uh, and another thing in Manila you might want to try out. This one uh, is, is real, looks really yummy. But have you heard of a cookie shot glass? No, I A haven't. cookie shot glass. It's uh, so cookies shaped like shot, glasses. like shot glasses, and you can put milk or other things in. It. Mm. Oh my so damn! Good cookies and yummy. milk are like are like one of the best things ever, next to prematurely ejaculating onto <laughs> Megan Fox. Cookies and milk, that is definitely up there with that. But yeah, anyway, so there's the new place, Cookie Bar. Uh, from what I understand, they, they're still an online shop, so they'll deliver uh, these. I don't think they have a store yet. I could be wrong, but check out the full article. It's on uh, whenInManila.com. Is that Ricky Flo? Yeah. Hi, Hi Ricky Flo. Hi. How are you? Oh, the bus. So Solar represents. Solar does represent, yeah. <laughs> So anyway, um, uh, so check out Cookie Bar uh, Manila. They're, uh, oh, okay, yeah, they have a store, East Capitolio Drive uh, oh, in Pasig. Oh my God, it's just here. Why are they not sponsoring our show yet? Yeah, Can you guys right send us store. cookie on. shot glasses here at Tusa Studios? We're on West Capitol Drive. Right anyway, you can also put um, liquor in there apparently, you know, because it'll okay. mix with the chocolate lining oh, in the cookie, yeah. so it'll be good. Rum. Of course, not if you're giving to Rum little girls. Chocolate. Yeah, there you go. But oh, but me, again, if you're a, just a geek like me, Milk is what we prefer. <laughs> I'm still a growing kid. Eh. Baka mag -PE, eh, so. <laughs> anyway, so there you go. Those are the things people are talking about. And some cool things you need to try in and around Manila. Anyway, it's time Yay! for one of my favorite segments on the show. It's my favorite segment today. Because <laughs> it's today. <laughs> it's, a, it's the only <laughs> segment that we have today. I'm kidding. Okay, this is a segment we call Martin Gives Headlines. Martin, what do we have in the headlines? <laughs> Well, we have a lot of things on this week's headlines, but since today is April 2, yesterday was the 1st of April, so there's a lot of April Obviously cool it's stuff, the right? Of April, yes. So I'll give you my personal uh, statistics on my FB. Okay. So as of April 1st, uh, 12 a.m. to April 1st, 11.59 p.m., mm -hmm. on the news feed, there was around uh, change of relationship status from single to in a relationship around uh, five, no, actually six of my friends. Six of your friends had relationship status changes. Two <laughs> were engaged, you included Vince, <laughs> and yes! one who's actually divorced, and within the span of 24 hours, it has been changed. Okay. But there's still 7106 okay. islands if you <laughs> haven't read it carefully yet. Hey, anyway, Martin, let's get to the headlines. Okay, what let's you go got, to man? the headlines. <laughs> so we have good news. It's a uh, peace pact. Makes history. Have you heard of this, guys? Uh, last Thursday. I am seguro you 7106. No, no. Uh, this is actually the uh, Philippine government and the MILF having a peace negotiation. Oh, that's right. That's right. This is historic. That's really good stuff. So, yeah. Um, finally, at, uh, peace in Mindanao. Finally, peace at last. Well, quote, unquote. Okay. There has been rallies. So okay. Not everyone has been happy. So, next uh, topic as okay, well. Okay. So, there you go. Uh, one of the headlines this week. Yeah, so this is our zoom in. And the same point here in Balita is give peace a chance, okay. guys. Okay. So, so now's a really big uh, topic. Zoom Sorry in for here. the Philippines. Yeah, let's zoom okay. in here right now to give Ding. peace a chance. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> hell, yeah, very funny, Ryan. Anyway, um, more good news. The world <laughs> record has been uh, again. <laughs> yeah, again. So, Sky, it's like 120 hours. Yes, 120 hours, team. 7 minutes, and 11 seconds. So, once again, we'd like to congratulate the Philippines team for <laughs> breaking so the world record. if you have reached that 
110 hour mark you don't have premature ejaculation yeah <laughs> you know you're not having pe problems when you can finish a marathon like this one okay well so you got Martin. congratulations more good news we talked about this as well three times the charm actually this is her third entry to the oh bini bini it's, it's oh. her third oh. time so mj the so winner yeah, mj yeah. it's her third time to join okay yeah so uh, congrats to you as well miss mj and this is the Good cover job. of a uh, tempo newspaper yes this and coming? this is a very sexy picture you're welcome vince next picture just kidding um wooly bully uh, this is a very interesting topic because Wooly Bully is actually an old song. So if you know the song, Wooly Bully, <laughs> Wooly Bully, <laughs> Wooly Bully. Hi, Martin! Why do we keep bringing Martin on? <laughs> I don't know, actually. Martin, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, next topic. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> How about the gorilla of the brownout alert? Okay, so wh what's on the headline here? What are they talking about? We're... Actually, talking about the uh, scheduled brownout interruptions this summer. What? We're doing ah, that again? I'll eat yeah. It. It's already hot, and we're still gonna have that. Oh no! What? This was like a '90s thing, right? Oh, well, no. um, if you guys brag about being '90s kids, good for you. You're gonna experience it the whole damn summer. <laughs> so yeah. Throwback go. Thursday. Good for you, '90s kids. Uh, okay. Good for you. <laughs> what else you got, Martin? Okay. Uh, this is very weird. 24 hours na hold up, lola ang kasabwa. 24 hours. So if you like translate that to <laughs> English, a whole day you're being hold up by a granny. So a granny <laughs> hold upper, lola hold upper. In other words, I can't imagine that. What the, what's the story actually about? What do they talk about? That is actually the story. That, that <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. And that's why it took 24 hours because si lola pala. Uh. Siyempre mabagal na, you know. Okay. But at least so she doesn't yung, have any PE. Bentang benta ka sa akin. Bayad ka, hindi ako comedy bar, ha? Hey, look at it this way. Lola doesn't have PE problems. <laughs> wink, wink. What you got, Martin? <laughs> <laughs> What's no. next, Martin? What's next? No. Okay, next up is actually, yeah, we'll talk about this again. This is the and anchor to Sam Concepcion. Do you have anything else to add? Segment. Is Sam there in the photo? Yes, actually he's the... Uh, is this from that night? That is so from that John. night, yes. Oh, so that's from the party. Uh, he, um, he's the guy in blue. Yeah, Nico, if you're watching, we need your help because I don't yeah, know no, how he no, looks no, like. And Curtis okay, actually we're Instagrammed this yeah. photo uh -huh. saying that they're okay. Now, yeah, my picture was that night. Oh, because she's denying it, yeah. right? Yeah, so that they're okay uh, now that um, like any other artist in the world... Ayun yung sasabi niya kay Sam to take care of my sister. May, well, maybe she was kidding around with him. Yeah. Maybe she was, just, you know, you, you you give your friends a hard time sometimes. So maybe she was kidding around someone over her. Oh, so, of course, again, ah, we weren't there. Umarte. We don't know. Magaling umarte na paniwala sila. Yeah, maybe. Oh, baka nang April Fools siya kay. Or or that. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Maybe she was playing an April Fools joke. Again, we don't know, but Anne is denying it. But of course, We're the sources are sure. And because yeah. it's it's her track record too. You know, she had that other one where she John slapped Lloyd. slapped people and said, you know, I can buy you this Your club. Your friends and, in this yeah. club. So apparently, she's she's good for one liners. It's a <laughs> premature oh line right there. Bakit pa practice ng lines kasi? Apparently, yun lang yung chance niya makapag practice. Makapagkabisado ng lines. But if it's legit, guys, it's just like the guy who got drunk. Eh, <laughs> no, you can't can compare it to that. No, that, that, one's, uh, that one could have killed someone. This one she just made. If it is true, she made someone feel bad. Yeah, oh, well. Oh, By the way, well, um, you, have one more seg you have one more celebrity news bit? Or, uh, oh, yeah. This is this something big, okay. actually. Um, this well, guy. this is half. Oh, of, there's Ramon. This is going to half of the Wen and Manila writers who are actually community fans. So if you're looking up here. Yes, that's Ramon Bautista, and that is Danny Pudi, who's that's actually crazy. acting as Abed Nadir, one of the favorite characters of the Hitso community. Ah, he's so he's in, in town. Manila. He's in town. How long is he in town for? Here at least until tomorrow for the for his Abed super fan thing. Oh, good okay. stuff today. Well, there you go. So community fans. Well, yeah. if people want to check him out, where can they go? Do you know? Well, well are you posting on, on the site? We can't post it yet because we our insider has yet to call. Nico, uh, call. There's Nico, there's Nico, Nico, Nico where are you? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there you go. There you go. Uh, <laughs> wonderful segment from Martin. How can they find you on Twitter? Okay, you can find me on the Twitter at the underscore Martin V. 
And you can also call us right now at the hotline 631-2264 if you have anything to add. If you have any questions wink, about wink. premature ejaculation, we're waiting on your we'll call. try to <laughs> answer. <laughs> anyway, um, there you go. That's our segment we call Martin Gives Head Lines. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Martin, where he gives you the headlines from around the Philippines. Anyway, to end the show, as always, we'll give you a little Yay. quick hits on what might be going on this week, the events that you might want to check out okay tonight is bubbly wednesday at club Hayes. april 3 to 6 is the manila international auto show we have riders there that's right uh, yeah, yeah. at the world trade center and april 4 is the third anniversary of palladium so there's free drinks if you guys want to come um april 4 and 6 is the pba all-stars game at mo arena i'll be there and meet you guys how does the philippine all how does the local um, all -Star it's actually game the philippine um, basketball team versus um selected celebrities selected players of the league okay okay so um fans voted for the selected players the versus the philippine team okay so this is the the gilas team is yeah. that okay it's a okay. gilas team Whoa. april 5 is close up forever summer at circuit city makati who's the headliner for that see si alessa <laughs> oh, i don't know <laughs> okay <laughs> Two. That's april 5 is lionel Richie live in Manila at Arena at the Coliseum. April 5 is Run for Women's Education in Manila. April 5 also is Outbreak Missions in Manila. Mm -hmm. April 5 also is PBA Run for a Cause at MOA. Okay, there you go. A little quick right. hits of what is going on in and around Manila. Anyway, again, if you're just now tuning in, every week we, t we do this podcast to talk about all the viral hits, everything people are talking about. In and around Manila, of course, it's always great to be with you guys. You can follow us on Twitter at Vince Galanco, at Sky Capades, at the Martin underscore V. And of course, if you want more info about the stories, they will be on WhenInManila.com. And of course, the only place we will be at for our podcast is here at BusaStudios.com. Check us out every week. Anyway, that was the show for this week. Hopefully, you enjoyed. Hopefully, we're not leaving too early. Are we peeing too early? Oh wait, wait, wait. <laughs> we forgot. So we're to like experiencing. Oh, who, who do you want to greet? Go. All right. Of According to our insider, this is actually true, not like <laughs> last so show. Um, one of our co-hosts is having a birthday this Saturday. Dun, 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 dun. So Angel, we'd like to greet Angel birthday. a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Come Angel. Come back soon, but we'll be watching you guys in a few minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Go, and belated happy Hello. birthday to Nico Ramos, one of yes. our friends here in Husa Studios. Happy birthday, happy Nico. Birthday. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. This was the WinInManil.com podcast. Hope that was good for you, too. See you next week. Bye.